Hello everybody, today I am attempting to mount a side air intake on my Toyota MR2 Mark III that will hopefully get the air filter installed around about there on the car right behind the air intake. Now for those of you who own a Toyota MR2 Mark III, you will know that JDM, there is a black plastic air box holding a panel filter right here. It then connects onto a mass airflow sensor around about here. And then there's a piece of black plastic pipe that goes straight, hangs a hard right, and goes to the plenum chamber in here. And for those of you who have seen my previous video, you will know that I've attempted to install a side intake before. I'll just take the battery out and I'll take the battery mounting plate out so you can get a good view of it. And this is my original attempt. Now, it wasn't a bad attempt, but there's two big problems with it. One, is that I bought the Samco Silicon 3-inch straight hose um, before really looking at the problem. This is 76 millimeters in internal diameter. Now, the plenum chamber is actually 70 millimeters in diameter, and so is the mass airflow sensor that I chopped out of the airbox to make my own one for free. So, it's not quite the right diameter. The other problem is that it's straight, and the plenum chamber is not straight. It actually pokes upwards at a few degrees. And that means that my mass airflow sensor also pokes upwards at a few degrees. And that then forces my universal three inch flexi joint into a pretty awkward shape that it has to compensate for with this weird S bend to finally go to my universal pod filter, which leads me to my second problem. Most universal pod filters, this one's pretty generic, are uh, quite a, a wide diameter at the base and way too wide to fit very far into this cavity and towards the, uh, the air intake which you can see light poking through at the top of the screen. So uh, I'm going to do two things to rectify this situation. One is that I've got a true 70 millimeter uh, silicone air uh, intake joint now and instead of just being straight uh, it actually has a, a flexible elbow built into it so hopefully I can get the mass airflow sensor pointing straight and get a bit of this awkward uh, kinking out of the universal joint and the second thing is that I have sourced a uh, very small pod filter which hopefully will poke much further down into the cavity and much closer to the air intake as a result. I will put links to both the small air filter and the 70 millimeter silicon hose uh, into the description. Okay, so this is the 76 millimeter Samco pipe that I had fitted originally, which as you can see, when fitted to the throttle body, pokes up at quite a strange angle. Uh, and this is the 70 millimeter, six millimeters thinner uh, silicon hose that I've got that comes with a joint to help uh, point it in the correct direction. All right, so the next step for me to get full access to the side intake is for me to remove the rear quarter panel. So I'm in the middle of doing that now. I started by removing the tail light. That's easy enough. There's just a bolt there, another 10 millimeter bolt there and then of course your electrical fitting. Then there's a series of 10 millimeter bolts along here. Then we switch to a Torx fitting, that is a T30. Then there's another 10 millimeter bolt hidden behind this rubber gasket up in there. Then there's a couple of more T30 Torx bits. Then there are traditional 10 millimeter bolts along the very bottom of the sill. There is three of them and a couple of plastic pop rivets. Uh, there's no need to remove the plastic um, intake skirting here, but I did it anyway. Uh, and as for the uh, petrol tank lining, I've unscrewed it, but I'm not sure that's necessary. Um, I'm going to take this off now and see what lurks underneath it. Okay, so as for the petrol tank, uh, this is the tank flap release mechanism, and that just um, unclips by hand. You just rotate it uh, counterclockwise and it slips out, no trouble at all. And also, there is a lot of dirt build up at the bottom of the sill, so uh, just as well they could do with a good scrub. Under the tail light, there is actually two more 10mm bolts 
uh, in here that I didn't show you before. One of them is just there. And there's another one that's a little tricky to film, which is at the uh, other end of the bracket. So what you need to do is pull the bumper back and then you can get to them. That's the other one there. And the one you could see from the first angle. All right, so this is what an MR2 looks like with its rear quarter panel removed. This is the uh, factory air intake. So since I've got an aftermarket one, I don't have any air box installed here anymore. Half of this piping is missing uh, and just stops here. So I can remove all this. It's completely redundant now. Uh, and as far as my aftermarket air filter goes, that's currently where it's located. And I want to try and slip it past the petrol filler cap and get it sitting in this area here. Okay, so the uh, internal plastic side intake just bolts on with a couple of our plastic pop rivets here and here, so the whole lot just lifts out. Um, as for the, uh, the factory intake piping that was along here, uh, there's a couple of 10 millimeter bolts um, here and here. So just unscrewed those and the whole lot lifted out. So that is now what we are working with. Uh, the petrol filler pipe is in the way, but it's at the end of a rubber hose, so it's very flexible. So hopefully we can get a three inch pipe out through here. All right, so for an update, we have got our 70 millimeter silicon elbow just here. That's now connected to my throttle body and to my mass airflow sensor at the other end. It's nice and straight now. It's not in a ridiculous S shape. It leads to my three inch flexi hosing, which used to stop dead with uh, the, the pod filter just here. It now goes all the way through, pokes out the firewall, and over the top of the petrol filler cap just here, leading to this new three inch pod filter, which is a much lower profile diameter than most aftermarket pod filters. It's a good inch or so skinnier. And as a result, I believe the quarter panel will bolt back on and uh, this will nest just under it. Um, the air intake should be uh, just here. So we're gonna bolt the quarter panel on now and see if it works. Uh, if you wanna get your hands on an air filter like this, I'll put a link in the description to this exact model. All right, so most of the bolts are back on and that's the air filter there. Okay, so this is the end result. Quarter panels all bolted back in. There you can see the air filter. Now we're gonna take it for a drive and see what it sounds like on the open road.